I'm standing here in front of Ulmus parvifolia, the lace bark elm or the Chinese elm. Uh, and this is a plant that's been used extensively in the last 20 years or so for streetscapes, for an urban tree in tough conditions, uh, but also because it grows quite quickly and is very adaptable to just urban conditions overall. So lace bark elm does get 40 to 50 foot high, can spread out 40 to 50 foot wide. Uh, this is a tree that, again, has been used a lot in urban conditions. Uh, it does produce a very large amount of seed every year, which has caused some problems, some potential invasive issues. Uh, and so it really is best planted in conditions like parking lot medians where invasiveness are less of a concern. You know that it's called lace bark elm because of this lacy exfoliating bark that you see, which is quite beautiful. Uh, as the tree matures, it starts to lose a little bit of that. Uh, but in kind of the medium age, uh, stems of this plant, you do get beautiful exfoliation. So this plant has alternately arranged leaves. They're very small. They've got serrate margins, a little bit pubescent beneath when they're very young leaves. Uh, one thing that is nice about this plant is uh, the fine texture it does bring to the landscape. Hardy from zones five through nine, it has a yellow to kind of pur reddish purple fall color. Uh, not overly spectacular, but uh, definitely kind of in the mid-range uh, for trees. Here's a landscape tip. Excellent, tough, durable tree for problem sites. Modeled bark is excellent for winter interest.